<laughs> um, and then when I, well, I'm curious uh, to hear because you know, you've been with Nintendo for some time mm -hmm. and you have seen a lot of different Zeldas show up uh, yeah. on your doorstep. Um, other than this game, which I, w I mean, I'd love to hear the story of the day that you saw this thing, but what is one of those games that stands out to you and a memory oh. related to that? Not to put well, you on the spot. Yeah. Actually, uh, definitely Majora's Mask yeah. on yeah. the N64 because, um, so the very, f I started at Nintendo and it was kind of, it was kind of weird the way they had originally interviewed me for a contract job um, and I ended up, the, the company that was trying to fill the contract job, trying to get me in there, was asking Nintendo for more money than Nintendo had budgeted for. It's, but then Nintendo just wanted to hire me, so they put me on contract on a separate project, which was Ocarina of Time, and I was translating all the, the testing documents and everything, and yeah, the bug nice. reports. And so, and then that finished, and, uh, and then I got hired on to localization, because they were processing the, the hiring for me to, to join the localization team. And, um, and so, the first, actually the first thing I worked on was, uh, I did a little bit of work on Link's Awakening DX. He loves that game. Um, the game Boy Color yeah, game. Yeah, it's my favorite game of all Which time. Was, yeah, it was, I loved that game. Yeah. And, uh, but then the, that was, because that was just touching up the text that already existed, it wasn't a whole lot to, to do with it. Um, but uh, Majora's Mask was the first one that I was going to be fully working on from, from the get-go. And, uh, and so they sent the game over and, and they said, you can't start translating until you finish the game. Uh, and this was, you know, this was like back in late 99, 2000, uh, somewhere around in there. And so there was, you know, I mean, IGN existed, but mm -hmm. there, there wasn't like a place you could go and just go online and be like, walk through time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, right? that's what we go through on reviews sometimes. <laughs> yeah. no, it's interesting to hear you've yeah. gone through that. Uh, yeah. I, I should have expected that. And so, yeah. and so then I, f and I was playing through the game and I can't remember, I don't remember what point it was, but I finally got to a point where I was legitimately like stuck. And uh, and somebody was like, oh, just call call Aonumis, call the dev team, call Aonumis on and ask him what to do. I was like, I can't do that. So <laughs> <laughs> like, I need them to trust me. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. then I had to go online and start scouring through like these obscure Japanese message boards, like trying to find because wow. the game had just released in Japan. Yeah. I was like, I need to find whatever hint I can. Same happened to us. We got the we imported the Japanese game and you know kind of tried to piece together and like how to get out of like Deku Scrub form and like yeah. we, we were stuck in so many areas because you couldn't readily access any help any help and that game was so weird you oh, know like yeah. it did things so differently yeah. yeah but for me I mean the moment like the, the two moments in that game that just stood out for me the most were the 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 um, the whole storyline with Mikau and the Zoras oh, and yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. his death and everything and yeah. then the other one was the moment uh, spoiler alert uh, where you you've had two thousand, yeah. yeah. where you year you flip the dungeon in oh Stone my. Tower. Oh. It was just like, yeah, what just happened? That was so good. <laughs> my moment was walking out, and there's just a tree. Yeah, Do you oh, remember yeah. that sequence? I'm like, what is going on oh, now? There's yeah. just a tree with the little kids running around with the masks. Oh, which oh is yeah, like, that was I, one of the things oh, I really man. appreciate about that game, which I think what I'm sort of picking up on here is that uh, there it was very sad in a lot of ways. Yeah, yeah. And um, some might like a lot of people think of Zelda as this sort of like heroic adventure, and it mm -hmm. always is. But there is a lot of like sort of sorrow and tragedy. This, yeah. like, I mean, spoilers again. Link's Awakening is. <laughs> It's a it's very older. sad ending if yeah. you think about it. Yeah, uh, Link just lost at sea, and the entire island and all his friends that he just met disappearing. Yeah, and spoilers. And um, Link to the Past, the whole like sequence with the flute kid is just oh. like yeah, it's heartbreaking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I'm getting a lot of sort of like notes of that in mm -hmm. in Breath of the Wild, mm -hmm. where it just feels. It yeah. feels like something bad happened or well, will happen. Yeah. Everything's rusty, everything's destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. Even the even the machines that are your enemies look like they've been asleep and broken, yeah. right? Yeah. Well and the thing the thing that strikes me about the game is, you know, there's there are places obviously where we can go and visit ruins, you know, like ancient Rome or Greece or whatever, mm -hmm. but they're all like tourist spots. And yeah. so you you go to these places and there's all these crumbling ruins around you, but there's like hundreds of people milling about and you're all taking your pictures and you're like, Both wow, that was an amazing civilization. Yep. And in this game, you're like out in this world and you, you're walking through a field and you come across this ruined home or settlement or whatever and there's nobody and you're just, 
kind of stuck with this moment of I'm 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 looking at the death of a civilization yeah. right in mm-hmm. front of me, mm-hmm. and I can see the wilderness has grown up around it, and there's really nothing left of it. Which you don't like, you haven't wow. really seen a lot of in Zelda before. It feels like the scenes in Ocarina of Time where like Link grows up and he comes out of the Temple of Time, and the mm-hmm. town is just a wreck and yeah. everything's mm-hmm. burned down, and, and the, the the redeads are yeah, yeah. yeah. and, and it's brains. So, and there right. it's only been seven years, so <laughs> I like the idea of like, and that's where we're we're starting to figure out where this fits in the timeline because it feels like you're sort of walking through a, an adventure that happened already, a story that happened. Thank you.